fastest animal in the world. You're looking at it. A mouse? Nope. The cheetah is the fastest animal. It can run much faster than a mouse. Maybe a little faster. Next question. Okay, what's the fastest thing on wheels? That's a toughie. I know this one. A racing bike. No, that's not the answer. What do you mean, no? Watch this. Now, is that faster or what? Maybe you could give him a half a point. Yes. Never play word games with a mouse. They're tricky. Bicycles aren't really the fastest thing on wheels, but sometimes in the city, they seem to be. Bikes make sense in our world. They're cheap and simple and designed to fit the human body. They use our strongest muscles in the best way, and they're easy to park. I was on a bike once. With those little short legs? Never. In the parcel carrier. I could feel every bump in the road. You'd feel the bumps on these bikes all right. They were called bone shakers. People enjoyed cycling and asked for bicycles that were more comfortable. They didn't even wear safety helmets in those days. No, and riders took some nasty falls from the high wheel bikes. As the roads got better, the bicycles did too. The new ones were safer and easy to get on and off. But you still had to learn how to balance. The shape of the bicycle hasn't changed very much for a hundred years. But a modern one is a near-perfect machine. It's flexible and finely tuned. In the 1890s and today, people put their bikes to the test. Cycling races were popular from the start. Now there are even races for unicycles. Who makes all the bicycles anyway? A few are handmade from scratch. They cost about three or four times as much as an ordinary bike because the parts are made one by one. And the bike is designed especially for one person. Ordinary bikes are made on an assembly line in a bicycle factory. Bicycle wheels with steel wire spokes have been used for over a hundred years. The spokes keep the wheels strong and hold them together. In the wheel assembly area, an important job is installing the spokes. This takes a lot of patience. The spokes are inserted in the hub and then fastened to the rim of the wheel. Tightening the spokes by hand takes a long time. This machine does the job quickly. bicycles didn't have rubber tires. Their metal wheels rode right on the ground. Ooh, that would keep you awake. The frame holds the bicycle together. That's the strongest part, isn't it? Strong and light. And the frame shouldn't rust easily. Most of the early bicycles were black or brown, but now they come in all colors, like sports cars. You can pick any color you want. goes on the frame first, then the pedals. What's the round thing for? That's called the sprocket. The sprocket holds the chain on. Right. Now for the brakes and the chain. This bike is just about ready.
parts like the handlebars and front wheel will be put on later by the owner. Bicycle racing is so exciting. I love watching it on TV. Hey, what's going on? I was watching that. Who changed the channel? I did. We're going to find out how they make something else. Hockey sticks? No. Guess again. I know. A hockey puck. That's it. This is where the hockey puck begins. Rubber, coal dust, oils and dyes are all mixed up together. Clay and some chemicals are added as well. When the mixing's all done, the rubber goes through an extruder. The extruder is a machine that squeezes it into a shape like this. They look like big licorice sticks. The sticks are sliced into pucks, hundreds of them. But they're still soft. You couldn't play with a puck like this. To harden them up, the pucks are baked in a special oven. For how long? Only a few minutes. The soft pucks are fitted into molds. In they go. And out comes a batch that's been in the oven for a while. The pucks are almost ready. They're still steaming. Must smell like burning rubber in there. Once they've cooled down, the pucks are trimmed. The extra rubber is cut away. Now they're ready for the game. Someone invented those machines just to make hockey pucks? Yes, they did. That's amazing. Can you invent a machine that makes other sports equipment? What would it make? And how would your machine work? <laughs> 